So yesterday I made the unfortunate video that Doom Multiplayer will not be in Doom Eternal, it's been replaced with Battle Mode, which of course is like the Demon Invaders mode. So yeah, that was a bit of a sad video yesterday because we got more Doom 2016 content cut along with Snap Map. But today I thought I'd talk about something a bit more joyful, something that's been added in to Doom, something that many of us were asking for in Doom 2016, and I'm glad that they're finally doing it. And that is campaign DLC and add-ons. It's been confirmed. Okay, so there was talks of this happening right from the announcement of Doom Eternal. They've been talking about how there's going to be a focus on DLC. But now finally we can safely say that this is definitely happening because of the pre-order bonus. So it was confirmed on the Slayer's Club or anywhere you can pre-order Doom Eternal that we will be getting not one but two campaign DLCs year one so that's not all together that's just two coming out on year one so let's have a look at this as we can see here this is the deluxe edition of Doom Eternal there's also the collector's edition which is the one where you get the cool helmet anyway there's a cool few things that is worth mentioning and the deluxe edition comes with a few extra bonuses compared to the normal standard version we got a year one pass with two campaign add-ons, which of course is the main thing worth talking about. The Demonic Slayer skin, which looks pretty nice, and a classic weapon sound pack, which is awesome. So we get to use all the classic sounds in Doom Eternal, something I actually can't wait to try. And I might have that actually as my default setting, the classic weapon sound pack. Pretty awesome stuff. But yeah, this is where they actually confirmed that we'll be getting two add-ons year one. So not only will we be getting DLC, it'll be coming out pretty much as soon as Doom Eternal's here. They're not going to wait a year or so, they're going to get straight into it. This is because I feel like this is obviously trying to build upon the Doom universe that they have created in Doom Eternal. So yeah, I think that Doom Eternal itself might leave on a cliffhanger. Which, something similar to Doom 2016 did, but of course the DLC can expand on that straight away. Or of course we could see brand new areas in each expansion pack that's not included in Doom Eternal so maybe other places that we don't know about yet which would make more sense after we see Doom Eternal fully that could be added in in them DLC afterwards or of course maybe some of these areas that they've mentioned might not actually be fully explored until the DLC so we know we go to like the Sentinel homeworld maybe we don't do that fully until one of the expansion packs we don't know exactly what their main focus is at Doom Eternal at the minute. And what I mean by this is we don't really know the chronological order of these events. We know probably Mars and Phobos would be the start, maybe Earth would be in the middle, Hell and Heaven will probably be at the end. But we've got all these other places that we saw in the trailer so we, it's going to have to be explored at some point. Doom Guy or the Doom Slayer is going to be doing a lot of exploring so I don't know how much of that they're going to actually fit into the campaign. I feel like the campaign is going to be hopefully a lot longer now it will be the main focus of the game it's always been the main focus but this time it doesn't have that strong supporting modes with it so I feel like it needs to put everything it's got into the campaign even at launch not the DLC afterwards but even that there's only so many places we can explore for a certain amount of time so um, maybe these places that we have seen will be left until the expansions afterwards but Still, at least we know we're getting these cool expansions now. So anyway, what do you think of this? Do you think it's pretty cool? Do you feel like that's not enough? Or do you feel like maybe they're going to rush it or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.